What's up guys, welcome to your 60 second tutorial and in these upcoming tutorials I'm going to be teaching you guys how to animate something aside from just movement. So let me go ahead and I'm going to be teaching you guys how to animate a material. In other words, when you're playing the game, make a material on a static mesh change color. So let's go ahead and build a real simple material. I'm going to go ahead and open my content browser. And remember way back when I made this package called Bucky's Awesome Package. I'm just going to go ahead and build a material in here by creating new material. And I'm just going to name this material um, barbecue, I guess. I don't know why. It's the first thing that popped in my head. I guess I might be hungry or something. And now well, I can guess I can go ahead and expand this. I'm going to go ahead and just add a simple color to this. I'm going to make it the most basic material that I possibly can. So I'm going to go ahead and right click and under parameters I'm just going to go ahead and select if I can find it new vector parameter. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this into the fuse which is the overall color of a material and in my parameter I'm just going to give it a red of 1. So basically I just have a red material again a parameter is like a list that has R, G, B, and A value mines 1 which means all red, no green, no blue, and one alpha. That pretty much means you can't see through it at all. So again, a very basic material using a parameter list. And again, what we're going to be doing eventually is in matinee, we're going to be editing these parameters of this list. So if we you know, change 1 to 0 and we turn green from 0 to 1, then this material is going to turn from red to green. So that's what we're going to be basically doing, but check it out. Whenever you build a material, you don't just have one parameter list. You usually have, you know, 10 or 20 different parameter lists. So we need to give this parameter list a name so we can identify it later on. And since we're going to be applying this material to the door, we're just going to put like door or which put like doors main color. So now this parameter has a name. So whenever we write, all right, we're in matinee right now and we want to modify doors main color it knows that we want to modify this parameter list right here so let me go ahead and just save that right now and again all we did right there is we made a really basic material however check this out in the UDK whenever you're playing your game they set it up where you can't modify your materials directly because it's just too much on memory and it's too much on your processor so what they did is they created something called a material instance now these material instances were kind of like versions of the same material however they were meant to be modified during game time so in order to turn this material into a material instance in other words a material that we can edit in matinee go ahead and right click it and hit create new material instance constant and now go ahead and right click this in by default you have the name of the name of your material with an instant again go ahead click OK and it looks good so now we have our main material in our material instance constant now again like I said this is basically just a version of your material it's the exact same thing except that this material instance constant we can modify in matinee and you know kismet wherever we want to modify it so in order to apply this material instant constant to the static mesh go ahead and just drag and plop it right on there and now you can see our static mesh is red just like our material pretty cool huh so before I forget let me just go ahead and save this package and also I'm gonna right click it and make sure it's fully loaded just like me and I think everything looks good to go right now so that's all I want to teach you guys in this tutorial again the things I want to go over is this whenever you make a material go ahead and name your parameter because whenever we're editing it in matinee it needs to know what parameter we want to edit and since we're going to be wanting to change the overall color we name this parameter doors main color and again anytime you want to change a material during game time you need to make a material instance constant because materials were made kind of for static meshes materials that aren't going to be changing material instant constants 
were made for materials that are going to be changing in matinee and stuff like that. So in order to do that, go ahead and right click your material and hit new material instance constant and apply it to your static mesh. So now that you got that figured out, you're ready to move on to the next part of this tutorial, which I'm going to be making in the next video. But for now, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys then.